Naji here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing on Lang chains, I mean the chains in Lang chain and the simple sequential chain and also like sequential chain. So these are the topics that we are planning to cover in this video. So in our previous videos, we already have a discussion with chain and we have done few use cases with that chain. Okay. So a chain basically have a uh, LLM model and also have a prompt and it will run against this prompt. Okay, so that is what usually a chain has. So we will discuss in which scenario we will use the simple sequential chain and in which scenario we will use the sequential chain. Okay, so we can discuss that through an example. So consider I have a situation or I have a use case. I need to figure out the largest state in a country. Okay. So after getting that result, okay, after getting that state, the largest state in a, in a country, I want to see the population in that particular state. Okay. So the, consider that is my use case and we can see how can we implement this use case using simple sequential chain and the sequential chain. Okay. So for the sake of interest, I have done few uh, few exercises here. So I have done like uh, the I have already mount with the collab drive and I am I am imported all my constants here. The open key constants I have downloaded here. I have set the environment variable for this. And here I have installed lang chain and I have installed open AI. So these are the basic setup that I have done. Now now what we can do, we can import the lang chain models. Okay. So for that, what we can do, okay, lang chain dot first I can import. Okay, this is actually wrong. Lang chain dot llm I can import open AI. Okay and I can import from prompt can import prompt template okay and from from lang chain uh, dot chains I believe yes I can import llm chain okay so these are the basic thing that we need to import first now I can create a open AA thing. I can set temperature as 0 0.6. So my LLM is ready, but I need to pass open AA AP key. Open a, a, a peak is already passed here so I don't know why it says that open a, a sorry sorry there is a spelling mistake here it's open a, p, a key okay now let me see that should be working yes it's working now now I need to create two template okay first is I can create a prompt state is actually a string here I want to see what is the largest state in the country so country is the input parameter so it should be something like this okay now I need to create a state template so it is a type of from template template here I need to mention input variable should be familiar by now input variable should be country okay now I need to mention the string the template okay so let me mention the template here Prompt template. Now this is ready. Okay, 
let me no no first i need to execute this one then i need to execute the second one this is no wrong template this is prompt state now we can create a chain okay I'm going to name it as a state chain. So this is like you say LLM chain. So LLM chain must have a model that is a LLM. Then I need to mention the prompt here. Prompt prompt should be state template. Now I can run it. I can run. I can give United State here. United State and see like which is the largest state in the country. So it says Alaska is the largest state. Now I need to figure out the. Now we need to find the the population in that particular state. So for that we can repeat the same thing i can create a uh, i can follow the same even though it is wrong i can follow the same uh, format i can have the prompt population which is of type string here i can mention uh, maybe what is the population in the state state is the input variable here now i can create a population template here a population template here i can write it as populate prompt template here i can define the input variables as state Okay, then I can mention uh, template, right? I can mention template as prompt template. Okay, no, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> uh, it's not prompt template, it's a prompt population. these two things okay. now I can create a population chain so this a LLM chain LLM chain have a model and it must and it must have a template right so it's very easy to remember you can mention template the template I mean the prompt okay. now we can run this we can run the population chain dot run I can give Alaska okay we can see what's the result now Okay, says that its population is something like this. Okay, all natives and Americans are this is the Alaska's population. Okay, now we need to see how can we combine these two chains. Okay, so uh, the, the, the problem statement is the result from one chain is the input, the output from one chain is the input to the other chain. Okay, so for that, what we can do, we can import symbol sequential chain okay symbol sequential chain we can import okay so this is very simple i can write uh, symbol chain 
okay here symbol sequential here we are symbol sequential chain here i can mention the chains okay here i can mention chains like in a first chain i can mention um i believe country chain first one is the country chain now first one is a state chain then the second one is population chain i can pass these two things okay now i can run symbol chain symbol chain dot run now i can pass then i get state okay so this is the population they are giving okay so this is little bit different than the first one okay so <coughs> ideally like i am not uh, verifying this result okay so we have we may have to fine tune or we have to give some the prompt optimization all those things uh, so that may be the reason by this kind of a difference but the goal of this tutorial is to understand how can we like uh, how can we implement this kind of a sequential chains okay so that is the goal uh, maybe the result will be like little uh, variations will be there in the result but we need to figure out that in our real project okay so going forward so here we will have the result right we know that okay uh, this is the population of alaska but here it is very hard to get the result from the pre the first chain right so this is actually giving the result from the second chain only so that is a one drawback of this sequential chain to overcome this lang chain is providing in the sequential chain okay that is another okay so here this is the another thing that is um, i can import like lang chain this is another way of implementing the uh, sequential way i can import sequential chain okay okay so this is the sequential chain fine so this is running now so i have done this so to implement the sequential chain we have to make a little bit of okay first first i will show you that then then i will correct this okay first i will show you the error then i will correct this so i can similar to that i can have a sequential chain okay in the sequential chain we can have uh, sequential chain here also i can mention the chains okay the chains will be the similar to state chain and we have a population chain population chain okay now i need to specify the input variables we can have input variables that is our input variable is country okay now what we are expecting is the output variable in the output variables we are actually expecting the state name also we are expecting the population right this is what we are expecting now let me run this okay so when we run this we will be getting some missing required input key so this is the error that we are getting so to solve this problem what we need to do okay we can go back to our uh, llm chain so go back to our chain this is the state chain right here we need to mention output key here we have to mention output key so the output that we are expecting is the state right so from here we are expecting a output state okay then we go to the population chain so in the population chain we are expecting a output key that is the population okay so let me repeat it again in the state chain we have added the output key as a state and this state is passed to the prompt template the population template okay then from the population chain we are expecting a output key population so these are the two changes that we have made now let me run this one okay now this is good okay now let me run it again in the normal way i can run 
I can pass donator state. We are getting an error message. Okay. Because run is not there here. So what we can do, we can pass it as a key value pair. I can mention here country as United State. Okay, I can run it. See? Okay, we are getting country as written back. Something run wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. Here, here we are getting. So this is our input variable. Country is United State. And the state is the largest state in the United State in the land of Alaska. And this is the population. So, so we are getting all the result here. Okay. So this is how the sequential chain performs or like uh, the use case of sequential chain. So basically in this video, we discussed about LLM chain, then simple sequential chain and the sequential chain. Okay. So I hope this is clear. I will upload this to my JIT repository and I will share the URL. And please do like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comment box. I will try to reply that. So thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.